Okay, this video is for the AutoCAD class, um, UNT, CVAD, uh, courses 501 and 502. Uh, hopefully this will be a quick review of some of the, of some of the topics that we covered during our first class. Um, as I may mention, both on Blackboard and both on uh, in person, we will be covering the Windows version of AutoCAD. And even though I'm running on a Macintosh right now, I do have Parallels Desktop installed, which allows me to run Windows itself as an application. And then I've got AutoCAD installed in over there. But I did want to show you, I did want to show you the stats on my laptop so that you could see what I'm running, and you could gauge your you could gauge your uh, performance based on that. I'm running the on a MacBook, it's the 12-inch Retina version in 2015. It's the first time. It's the first model that they released on this. It's the 1.3 gigahertz uh, Core M processor, and I've got eight gigabytes of RAM. And that eight gigabytes of RAM is put, is uh, split 50/50 between Windows and the Macintosh when uh, the Parallels is running. So, without further ado, I'm gonna come over here. Now I've already got AutoCAD launched. <coughs> uh, as, as a quick note, always start AutoCAD using the icon either on the desktop or down here in the taskbar, or come over here in the main menu and open up. I hate it when things move around. Or from the start menu, but always, always start AutoCAD. Uh, by by using the application shortcut and not by double clicking on an AutoCAD file. <clears throat> and we're left we're started here with what's called the start page, and we will always start with the template. So I will right click down here where it says templates. Go down to the third item in the list, acad.dwt. In AutoCAD, there is a coordinate grid system that is always implied and it's always accessible. It's most of the time, we're going to be using left clicks of the mouse in order to draw things. Um, drawing uh, with left click is always a click and release. Very, very rarely do we do any click and drag operations within AutoCAD. For this class, we're going to be focusing on these icons here in the draw menu. The next video will be we'll cover everything in the second class and that's the modify tools. We'll do that next time. For every AutoCAD <coughs> excuse me, for every AutoCAD command here in the icon or here in the ribbon, if you hold your mouse over the icon but don't click on anything, it will bring up this so uh, you can call it an index card or the cliff notes version of what the command does and how it works. So the line is the, shortest, uh, is the shortest distance between two points. We remember that from our geometry class. So I'm going to left click and release. And here I can just click anywhere. And as you can see, the numbers track with me. So there's that implied coordinate system. So I'm just going to left click. And if I drag straight out to the right, you'll notice I have that dashed green line. If I move my mouse up or down a little bit, that dashed green line goes away. <coughs> That dash green line is very similar to holding down the shift key and constraining yourself to an axis when you're working in Illustrator or Photoshop. We don't hold down the shift key in AutoCAD, but they give us the dash green line that sort of rubber bands us and holds us onto that. So I'm going to drag up off my mouse, or drag my mouse in a certain, just some direction, and left click and release. And AutoCAD is going to assume that I'm going to, con that I want to continue lines until I tell it to stop. So I'm just going to randomly run around and click a few points and then come back out. And when I'm done clicking my, when I'm done drawing my lines, I can either push return on the keyboard, the enter key, or I can push the space bar. In AutoCAD, that amounts pretty much to the same thing. <laughs> and lines are all individual. You'll notice if I hold, hold my mouse over, as I hover my mouse over, each line segment becomes highlighted. These are all individual elements, and I'm not clicking on anything yet. 
If I want to select an object, then I will hold my, my cursor over it and I will left click and release. Now these blue dots <coughs> not only indicate the, uh, the places I can click in order to edit these objects, but they also help tell me what type of object they are, and I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. And I can left click on another line, and I can edit both of these lines just by clicking on this little square right here. And you notice as my mouse snaps over it that that square turns red. That means that if I left click now, that will be the, uh, the, uh, the grip point that I'm editing. So I'll left click, and I can move that line around. If I want to deselect something, this is where I hold down my shift key and I will click on object I want to deselect. So hold the shift key. If I want to add anything to what I've selected, I just let go of the shift key and I click on the object that I wish to select. If I want to unselect everything, <clears throat> and I just click the space bar or the uh, escape key, and it unselects everything. There's a few other ways to select objects in AutoCAD. AutoCAD during selection always uses what's called implied windowing, which if you left click and release just here in outer space, then it will begin a window. And you'll notice it's filled with blue. Any object completely inside that blue window will be selected when I left click again. I will click the escape key and unselect everything, deselect. Alternately, now it doesn't matter if you go from the from top to bottom or bottom to top. The more important thing is left to right to use a window selection. The alternate method is to use what's called a crossing window. And that's if you start on the right hand side and then move to the left. So if I click here, just here in outer space, click and release, and then move my cursor to the right, or to the left rather, you'll notice that it's green and that the, uh, the, the borderline is, uh, is dotted. That's a visual cue that your, that, that your selection set is going to be different than moving to the right, where the window you're selecting is blue and solid. So green always means a crossing window. Any object that crosses this boundary will be selected. So let's do that again. I'm going to left click here on the to the left of this line. I'm going to left click and release and I'm going to move my mouse down and to the right to make a selection window. Left click and release and my object is selected. I'll push escape, deselect everything. And now I'm just going to start here in the middle of this particular line. I'm going to left click and release and move my mouse to the left and down. And as I cross these lines, left click and release, both of those lines are selected. And it doesn't matter, I mean, I can work my way all the way across like this and select everything. Okay. I'm going to click escape out everything. There's two more ways to select an object. One is with the lasso tool and those of you who work in Photoshop and Illustrator know about the lasso tool but the way to use it in AutoCAD is this is one of the few times where you will left click and hold and it creates a very irregular shape that simply follows where your mouse goes. And then when you're done with this particular lasso then you release your left mouse button. Those of you who are on, on a laptop, especially a Mac laptop, I do recommend an external mouse. It's just, it makes things a whole lot easier. And I'm done with this. I'll click Escape. And just as we had the selection window and a crossing window, you also have a crossing lasso. It all, and, and which, which one it is, whether it's a selection window or a crossing window, it all depends on which direction you move your mouse. So if I left click, if I start on the right hand side of my objects and I click left click and hold my mouse and drag around to the left, any object crossing will be included in my selection set. Okay. Click escape. And I'm done with that. 
incredibly slow, and that, that's some super basics of object selection using the line command. And now I'm going to show you the erase command or the delete command, and it's fairly simple. I'm going to select all my objects. That was just a left click and release, move my mouse to the left, left click and release, and I can press delete on the keyboard. And there we go, everything has been deleted. Alternately, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, press Control Z, that's Z as in zebra, to bring all those objects back. That's my undo command, just like everything else in Windows. I'm going to highlight all my objects. Alternately, because th there are ways to use keyboard shortcuts in AutoCAD, just like there are, there are in a multiple of other uh, Windows programs. Most of the commands for the, uh, for the command line shortcut to use is going to be the first few letters or the first letter of the name of that command. So in this case, I want to erase objects. So if I type E at the command prompt and then push the space bar, press return, that will erase my objects also happens to be that icon right there. And again, I'm just holding my mouse and it brings up, it brings up the little uh, flashcard to tell me how this command works. Okay, so that's lines and some basics of uh, element selection.